Hey guys, welcome to Pixel Talk. My name is Corbin Stuckey, and I'm here to give you a review on the Xbox One's new killer app, Titanfall. Titanfall is a first-person shooter available on Xbox One, PC, and I have an Xbox One, so I bought it for Xbox One, and I gotta say, I am in love with this game. Holy crap. It's a total adrenaline rush, and I, I totally recommend it. It's such a great experience. I'm a really big fan of first-person shooters, and considering how, like, Halo isn't on the Xbox One and, you know, Call of Duty is getting old, I really needed something on the Xbox One to play in order for me to, like, you know, still be in touch with first-person shooters and still for me to, like, even use my Xbox One. And Titanfall came out, and it's such a great experience. I absolutely love it. Titanfall is basically this game where it takes place in the future, and it's all multiplayer. There is a campaign, but it's mostly multiplayer. If you get this game, get it for the multiplayer. Don't get it for the campaign. I'll explain a little bit later, but uh, I got it for the multiplayer. I played the beta, and it was amazing, and the game is just as fun. And basically what the game is about is you are a soldier in the future, and you uh, are... You, there's like two sides of the game. You can either play as a soldier from the malicious side of the campaign, or you can play as a soldier from the IMC side of the campaign. And uh, I here's the thing I have a problem with the campaign. Uh, the campaign is multiplayer. Uh, it really does not matter if you play the campaign unless you really want to get uh, the titans that you get at the end. You get like the skinny looking titan when you beat the uh, militia part of the campaign. And you get the really big hulking titan when you beat the IMC part of the campaign. And that's why I played the campaign. I was originally playing it because I wanted to know the story, but uh, the story is kind of irrelevant now. Because when you're playing the multiplayer, it's really hard to follow the dialogue that's played in the background, and that's basically the campaign, is that you're, you're just listening to the dialogue and like the characters in the background, which that's kind of the downside of this game, is that it's got a really sore campaign. And I feel as though they could have done a lot more with that, because like with Microsoft, we've got some really great games. We've got Halo, we've got Gears of War, you know, and they've got like great stories and everything with books in the background, and with Titanfall, uh, they don't really have anything. They just have like this I don't know, mediocre campaign, but I did not get Titanfall for the campaign. I mean, it would have been great if they had a great campaign, like, you know, Battlefield and Call of Duty, but I did not get it for the campaign. I got it for the multiplayer, I played the multiplayer in the beta, and it was so good. I love everything about the multiplayer, and that is why I am telling you to get this game, not because of the campaign, but for the multiplayer. I mean, still play the campaign, because, like, you know, you get the Titans at the end each time when you beat the campaign, but don't get it because of the campaign. Get it because of the multiplayer. In the multiplayer, you've got your basic assault rifle, your submachine gun, sniper rifle, and an awesome pistol that aims for you, and etc. And also, of course, you get Titans. Not only can you play as a soldier, but you can play in Titans. Giant mechs that you can walk around with, they have like their own guns and everything and some of them have like force fields that like catch bullets for you and you can shoot the back at your enemies and it's just so much fun. I actually, uh, I didn't find myself playing as either a soldier or a titan more. I, I played them pretty evenly because like, the, the fun thing about this game is that even though you're a soldier fighting a giant mech, you know, like the David and Goliath type thing, you, you still feel as though like you can still conquer the titan even though you're really small and everything you, with the weapons that you are provided with it feels like you can just take over the world even though there are like titans around you. Uh, especially like with the soldiers, you can like double jump and you can also do like a lot of parkour moves like you know like uh, running on walls and stuff like that. I felt as though like the, the game was very evenly balanced and I kept on wanting to play it the whole time even though like you know I was kind of like iffy like oh my god am I going to be able to like destroy this titan and it was still so much fun and everything. And I just really enjoy how like it was all evenly placed. Also, speaking of evenly placed, I love the AI system in the game. Now, in the multiplayer, you can play with other people, you can like verse other people, but there are also AI enemies that you can play in the game. Now, back in 2008 when I got an Xbox 360, I played Gears of War and I played Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And I actually just was not that good because like I was an unexperienced player and I was just getting started. 
Uh, I can see people getting an Xbox One, like, for the first time, like, their first console, like, you know, like, 13 or 14-year-olds, and playing Titanfall as one of their first games, but they're just, like, not that good at it, because, like, they've never played a first-person shooter before. Now, what the developers did, they added AI enemies into the game, so you are not just focused on the other players in the game, you're also focused on the AI enemies, which I thought was a smart move, because... Um, you know, there are just some players out there who are not generally good at first-person shooters or average players, but there aren't really, like, you know, we're not all good. I mean, let's face it, the, the things that we see in first-person shooters, like the things that, like we accomplish, it's all luck. And I feel as though, like, if I am just, like, you know, I am having troubles, like, versing other players, I can just go for the AIs and get points there. It's a fair part of the game that I really appreciate that the developers put into there, and I absolutely love it. Because sometimes we're gonna experience players in there that are just really, really, really good. And it's, it's almost like kind of unfair because like they've like uh, experienced stuff a little bit more. They have like better guns than us. So that's really not that fair sometimes. But we have the AIs and that gives us the, uh, you know, the opportunity to get us points in the game. So I really appreciate how they added that into the game. And holy crap, like you can tell that they care. I think Titanfall is really the killer app of the Xbox One. I truly believe that. Well, except like when Halo 5 comes out. That's probably going to be the killer app, but so far, I think Titanfall is the killer app of the Xbox One. It is, it's got so much potential. Um, it's probably like the next Call of Duty. It's actually from the makers of Call of Duty, so that probably explains why. And I just, I just love playing it. I mean, it doesn't get old really at all. I mean, I feel as though like, you, uh, the, the game can be approached uh, in different ways, and different stuff seems to be happening all the time while you're playing the game. Like, not like different stuff like, you know, Battlefield different, but like, you know, in its own way, different stuff happens in the game all the time. Like this one time, I was playing, and I called in a Titan, and Titans come from the air, and they land to where you, you hit your marker. And I called in a Titan, and this was by accident, I actually called in a Titan, and he landed on top of another Titan and crushed him. And I was like, dude, I didn't even know you could do that. So the game actually has like a lot of different stuff that you can do in it and probably other stuff that I'm not even really aware of at this point yet. And also you can approach the game in many different ways by like if you're a Titan, you can either verse you know, other Titans or you can just like be a douche and kill other players on the ground. But those players actually still have the ability to like kill you because like they can jump on top of you and shoot you. So I loved how the game was very evenly balanced and I just, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, I would love a sequel, but I don't know how they would like make a sequel to a game like this. I guess they could have like more loadouts and stuff like that, you know, like, but um, if they were to make a, a sequel, it, it would have to have a more uh, sophisticated campaign, a more involved campaign. But uh, you know what? I actually wouldn't mind if they just had another sequel with just a multiplayer. But if they were to do another campaign, which I'm pretty sure they will, it would have to be more involved. If it's not, then they might as well just take the campaign out. But besides that, I am in love with this game. I definitely recommend it. It is, it is such a fun game. Just the different ways that you can approach it and the, the fun ways to like, you know, it's gonna sound really weird, kill people with like your mechs and your guns and everything. It's just, it's such a fun game and I definitely recommend it. It's, uh, if you have an Xbox One, uh, so far Xbox One has been coming out with some pretty okay to crappy games. Uh, so far I've just been playing uh, Rise, which was all right, and Forza, which is, which is cool. I love Forza, but I'm more of a Need for Speed type fan. Uh, so yeah, but um, guys, Titanfall so far is the Xbox One game that you need to get. If you are thinking about getting an Xbox One, you have to get Titanfall, it is so good. Oh my God. And so yeah guys, thank you for checking out my review on Titanfall. Uh, if you have any questions about the game, like about how it runs, about the different mechanics, comment down below. And if you've played Titanfall, uh, you know, comment down below what you thought about it. And yeah. And if you haven't yet, uh, subscribe to my channel, Pixel Talk. I'd really appreciate it. I'm gonna be trying to post more reviews on video games in the coming weeks. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. I'll try to post some more gameplay footage in the next week. And yeah, uh, <laughs> I love Titanfall. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye. I already did that. I don't know why I'm doing it. I mean, I need to stop. All right, see you guys. Bye. Transferring control to